Welcome to the world of Neuralink, where innovation and controversy collide in a whirlwind of possibilities and questions. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Today, we dive deeper into the recent developments surrounding Elon Musk's Neuralink, from its groundbreaking technology to the allegations of primates' death and intrigue that surround it. Imagine a world where our thoughts can shape reality. That's the vision of Neuralink, and it all begins with the Prime Study, the precise robotically implanted brain-computer interface. The Prime Study tells us exactly how Neuralink will function to restore body movements for those patients with this specific medical need. In this cutting-edge study, individuals with disorders of the brain that hinder limb movements, like quadriplegia or ALS, will be considered for human trials. A wireless chip or brain-computer interface called N1 will be implanted into the region of their brains that controls the movement of the limbs. But this is not a job for human hands. That's where the R1 robot comes in, delicately threading the N1 implant into place. But make no mistake, there is a human hand ultimately involved in the procedure. The surgical aspects of the procedure will be completed by a neurosurgeon. Once implanted, the N1's mission is clear, record and transmit brain signals wirelessly to an app that decodes the intent of a movement. It is, quite literally, a mind-bending technology. But how will this benefit humanity? Picture this, participants gaining the ability to control a computer cursor or keyboard using only their thoughts. A game-changer for those who have lost control of their limbs. For approximately 18,000 people in the US who suffer from spinal cord injuries every year, and the 5,000 new ALS diagnoses, this offers hope where there was once despair. But as we revel in the promise of this technology, we must now confront the controversy that looms over Neuralink. According to the report by Wired, there have been allegations of monkeys dying after the Neuralink chips were implanted during the animal trials. Letters by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine call for an investigation into Musk's claims that the monkey deaths weren't linked to Neuralink implants. These letters claim that veterinary records tell a different story, the chip causing a series of complications ultimately leading to the tragic deaths of these animals. If these allegations hold true, it could mean serious repercussions for Musk and Neuralink. Musk denied all allegations and claimed that monkeys who died during trials at the company were terminally ill and did not die as a result of Neuralink implants. But wait, this isn't the first time Neuralink's animal testing has attracted the attention of federal agencies. The U.S. Department of Transportation had opened an investigation into the transport of antibiotic-resistant pathogens. It's a storm of inquiries, all while Neuralink pushes forward. These huddles arise while Neuralink has secured FDA approval for human trials, marking a significant milestone. While these human trials aim to empower people with paralysis to control computers with their thoughts, we are navigating an ocean of intrigue and controversy. This brings us to the most important question, amidst the controversies of primate deaths, is Neuralink actually safe for human trials? The promise of Neuralink's technology could revolutionize the world, but only if we confront the shadows lurking in its past. Did Musk's team deliberately choose primates who were terminally ill? If so, will the patients chosen for human trials only be experimental dummies? Is the tech safe enough for humans? We will find out. Join us on this journey as we continue to explore the ever-evolving world of technology and innovation. A future that is already happening. Subscribe for more updates and stay tuned.